Just as you can use SQL to query a database, in c -sharp you can use Link to query object collections. In this lesson, I'll show you the basics of Link syntax. So let's create a collection of file names, for instance, and then we will use the old way of getting all the doc files out of this list and putting them in a collection, and then I'll show you how to do it with Link. So first we need our collection. We'll make it a generic list of strings, and we'll call it files. And we can define them right after the instantiation here. And think how uh, you would get all of the files that end with dot .doc out of this list. So let's put a doc file and maybe a text file and another doc file and another doc file and another doc file measure. So there we have a collection of lists in a generic collection. And let's first just display them so that we see that things are working. So we have file and files and display the file. So here we will see them all. Now let's get the doc files out. So before link, you might have done it this way. Just gone through all the files in an iteration and checked each time if file ends with, ends with dot doc, then add it to a new collection. So let's make a new collection called doc files, for instance. So it's a generic collection of strings called doc files. And then here we say doc files add. So we're adding it to the collection and add the file that has doc at the end. And let's display those doc files. And we do indeed only have the doc files. So that is a way to get all of the doc files out of this list of files. Now let's do it with link. So we'll comment this out. And then let me first show you how to get all of the files out with link. And then I'll show you how to filter it. You say VAR usually in link because link doesn't always return the same kind of object. So it's a flexible way to define the type. But we know in this case that we're going to be getting back a generic list of strings because it's a very simple case. So we say from F in files, select F. And if you write SQL statements, you recognize the similarity here. And now in doc files, we have the same thing as we had here. So let's run it. All right, we didn't filter out yet, so we have all of the files. Now let me show you how to filter. Just as in SQL, you have where F ends with, in the same statement as above, doc. Run it, and you see that we have only the doc files. You can also use order by, which is also taken from SQL, order by F, and then you see that they're in alphabetical order. So that's a simple example of using link on a generic collection of strings. Let me show you how you would do it on a collection of custom objects. So let's go ahead and we'll just comment it out. And then we'll create a custom object like customer. So we have a class customer and a property first name and a property last name and an age, for instance. And then let's give it a way for us to display it nicely with a method, public string, and then display. And for instance, we'll return this formatted string of uh, last name, 
comma, first name, and their age, like that. So last name, first name, and age. There we go. So now we just need a collection of them. So here's a collection of customers. Notice that we define all of the customers in the same statement. This is all one statement that we instantiate the generic list customers. It's a very nice short form that C Sharp allows. So let's use a link to get all of the customers who are less than 30 years old out of this list. How do you think you would do that? First, you start with the var, and then give it a name like young customers equals, and then start with from. It's kind of backwards from SQL where you start with select. So in C Sharp, start with from. C in customers. Customarily, this is always a one character variable. From C in customers, where C age. And notice that when we type this, we already have the IntelliSense that we just made, the first and last name. So C age is less than 30. And then you always have to say select C. So there we have young customers. So let's display them for H young customer in young customers and print young customer and the display method. So what do we get? We get the three customers who are indeed under 30. And let me show you another way to display these. It's not necessarily a part of link, but often used with link. It's a way to display this all in one line. So watch this. You have young customers, and then dot, to, list. That will convert this to a generic list. And then here, for each, and then C, lambda, which you can read as C such that and then print it, display. And if we run this, we get the same thing. So that was a quick introduction to Link, a powerful feature of C Sharp, which makes it unique among computer languages today.